Previously on the bill. My son is a pedophile. I do not want to see you killed. Hello, Irie. Little message from my dad. In case by some miracle you haven't heard, DC Rob Thatcher killed Irene Radford yesterday. He then turned the gun on officers of SO19, who had no choice but to open fire. He was pronounced dead at the scene. Inspector Gold is... Well, let's put it this way. We all know there's only one Gina Gold. She even wanted to come in this morning, but debriefing took priority. When that's finished, she'll be taking some well-deserved leave. Rob Thatcher lost the plot. Yeah, he had plenty of reason for hating the Radfords. But his actions yesterday affected all of his colleagues. What he did was selfish and irresponsible. Now, I know some of you here are upset by Rob's death. But it's worth remembering the officers who pulled the trigger. They're going to have to live with this for the rest of their lives. I don't want Rob's actions dragging down the rest of this department. So the sooner we come to terms with it and we move on, the sooner we'll learn to live with the wounds that Rob has left us. That's all I want to say for now. Phil, can I have a word? While Rob's actions were totally unacceptable, I hope at least to some extent they were understandable. That said, if any of you want to talk about it, have anything to say, I would appreciate it if all discussion were kept within this station. He was a colleague. Let's try not to forget that. Our thoughts and prayers go out to his family. Thank you. Sure. Well, he did take Iron Radford down with him. Mm, it can't be all bad. Nobody has a right to take another person's life. Well, Irene did kill his dad. So? Two wrongs make a right, do they? Lance. Some people might think so. Get an eye for an eye. The whole point of that expression is... Lance! Are you still up for a few drinks tonight, Rich? Nice as stag do. Oh, yeah, I should be. I don't think Marilyn can make it, though. She's uh, well, not feeling too well. Oh, is she? Nah, it's chicken pox. So I won't be able to be too late, you know. Oh, come on, Reg. You know what they say? Well, the cat's away. Reggie baby can play. For what it's worth, once Robert got it into his head to kill Irene, there was very little you or anybody else could have done about it. Gov. But you didn't half make it easy for him. I know, Gov. Letting Irene pass information to David while you were having it off with a prison liaison officer. Michelle, what's the face? Look, I'm really sorry, Gov. If you can't keep it in your trousers, Phil, I can't keep you in this job. And I mean it. Gov. They weren't just lads. Well, it doesn't look like it to me. Look, when you try and condense 800 years of Irish history into a 10 minute conversation, there's bound to be a bit of a disagreement. You should know what I'm talking about. With the landlord? No. I'll go and see what the landlord's got to say. He'll have nothing to say. I can tell you that now. Oh, so you're a mind reader now, are you? No, I'm a friend of his. What's your name, sir? Flynn. Sean Flynn. There's nobody there apart from a guy asleep on a snooker table. I told you. Well, look, Mr. Flynn, I don't want to be called here again. Understood? Rest assured. Sheila, can I ask you a personal question about your son? Sure. Well, being gay is one thing, but how would you feel about a commitment ceremony like mine? Your mother's upset about the wedding. Yeah. A couple of mates from church, ever since they found out about the ceremony. They've been ignoring us both. Well, why don't you and your mother go to a different church? Not all Christians are homophobic. She doesn't want to. 
She's been going there nearly all her life. And anyway, why should we have to change churches? One of them, how? I've known him since I was four. We've been mates for nearly 20 years. Ever since he found out I was gay. He just blanked me. I'm beginning to wonder whether it's all worth it, this ceremony. It doesn't mean anything. It's not legally binding. I just seem to be upsetting people. Well, look. Either you and Mark love each other and want to commit yourselves to spending the rest of your lives together, or you don't. Because if all it takes to put you off is a few friends disapproving, then you can't think much of Mark, can you? Which I don't believe for a second. If you love him, marry him! Mrs. Brunson? Yes? I'm Diaz de Costa from Sun Hill. You spoke to a colleague of mine last night about your son, David. May I come in? Yes. Thank you. Sarge, we've got a shout. Sarge? What? Are you all right? Yeah. Uh, I just had a call from Grace's foster parents. Shirley's baby. How is she? She's okay. Yeah. Um, it's nice of them to call, you know. It's good to know she's in safe hands. I mean, they're doing a better job than I could, so... I never really said how sorry I was about Shirley. Are you coping all right? Yeah. Life goes on, doesn't it? Yeah. Come on. You told PC Harmon about your son. And what's the girl called? Alison? How old is Alison? Ten. How old is David? Nineteen. How long has David known Alison? Six months. I tried talking to him about it. How did it start? People thought she looked just like my daughter. But I couldn't see it. No one could ever be like Katie. She was knocked down a bus ten years ago. David, he... I thought it all ended when Alison's family left the street. And then I found the photographs. Photographs? On the computer. Where's David now? He's at his digs. I'll need his address. Do you need any help, sir? Not unless you can open up my other shop for me, no. Hey! Oh, careful, sir. We've got to try and keep it exactly as it is until CRD arrive, all right? Sorry, the swine broke these. I can't see a thing without them. Right, don't worry. Take a seat. Thanks. Ah, there were two of them. Could you see them at all? Yeah. One was Tony Blair, the other was George Bush. They were wearing masks. Right. Do you know what's been taken? Uh, would you be kind enough to go behind the desk and get me my spare pair of glasses? Okay. Thanks. <sighs> Could be worse. Oh, no. What was it? Photograph. I had a framed photograph of the England 1966 team on the wall with all 11 signatures. It's irreplaceable. Mum? Hello, um, I'm Diaz de Costa, Sun Hill. Thomas, it's nothing. Nothing? Is this about David? No. Oh, Mum, what have you done? Nothing. I haven't said anything. I don't know what my mother has told you, but I'd like you to leave. Mrs. Brunton, I'm sorry. Mum, just leave it with me. It's this way. Sorry to have wasted your time. This is a private family matter. Not in the way I see it, because it involves somebody else. No, it doesn't. It never did. It was always a misunderstanding. Thank you.
Mr. Green, you said the men had baseball bats. They never touched me with them. They just wanted to frighten me. It worked. Have you noticed anybody behaving suspiciously here in the last few days? Not really. Took me over 20 years to get Nobby Styles, you know. Sorry? I had all the others, but I had great trouble getting Nobby Styles, and now it's gone, just like that. Excuse me, sir. You said you had a CCTV tape for us. That's right. Well, could we have it then, please? Of course, I'll get it. <clears throat> Jim, who's Nobby Styles? Before your time, Susie. Thank you. I'd like the England 66 team back much more than any of the other stuff you know. You and me both. I've got people sick, two people on leave. But we're completely overstretched. Can't help you, sorry. What about Susie? She's on a robbery. I'd give you Ken, but of all the ones most affected by Rob, you know. D.I. Manson. Yeah, she's here. Okay. There's a Thomas Brunton waiting in reception for you. Well, he can sing, whistle and dance if I don't get back up. He's got a 19-year-old brother who's got 800 photographs of a 10-year-old girl on his computer. What am I supposed to do? Just let it go. Well? All I've got's happy customers. Same here. Any luck with the van? No, they drive away from the back of the shop and the council's CCTV doesn't cover the back. Typical. I just thought I'd let you know, in the shop across the road, they saw two men acting suspiciously in front of the electrical shop. When was this, Yvonne? First time four days ago, and then yesterday by the back door. What did these men look like? They couldn't give a clear description, but they think they got into a blue car. That narrows it down, Yvonne. No. Thanks, Yvonne. Hold on a sec. See? A blue Vectra. My mother told you about David and Alison, didn't she? There's nothing going on. Alison doesn't even live here anymore. We would have given anything to have her back. That doesn't mean... Your mother didn't see a resemblance between them. Did she? I was 12. David was only nine when Katie was killed. We were all so close. There are some things you never get over. But to think that he might... No way. Thomas, I'd really like to speak to him. There is nothing suggestive, sexual, or even remotely pornographic about those pictures. So you've seen them? Of course I've seen them. Oh, you people. You were so sick. I don't know how you could bear to live with yourselves. Thomas? Thomas, just hang on. Thomas, hang on. One second, please. Maggie. Um, oh, these for me? Gosh, I wanted to say thank you. Oh, they're, they're beautiful. Have you got a minute? Uh, wait, I've got to speak to the superintendent, but yeah, yeah. Come on, it's not every day I get flowers. You were right. You know, the way I was behaving, I couldn't cope, not with the children. So. No. I was very angry at first, but um, I can see now, having me sectioned, you know, it really was the best possible thing for all of us. It's been like having this thick fog inside my brain that's just lifted, and I feel like I can see clearly for the first time in years. Oh, I'm so glad, Maggie. H how are the children? They're not with me yet, but um, hopefully they will be soon. I had them for one weekend. They were allowed to stay over. How was that? It was really good, so... I just wanted to say thank you. Oh, I'm, so, I'm so pleased to, to see you looking so well. But listen, I've, I've got to get on, I'm sorry. It's okay, I understand. Yeah. 
Take care of yourself, Maggie. I will. Yes. Bye. A blue vector parked outside Green's shop. Now, we've lifted the index number. The PNC came back with one Sean Flynn. July 94, burglary. Three months probation. September 95, GBH. 18 months. December 96, armed robbery. Ten years. Sean and his brother Mickey were released 18 months ago. They tried to claim terrorist involvement and get out early as part of the Good Friday Agreement. But it's just a couple of Irish chances. Why would someone with Flynn's record allow a car that's registered to himself be spotted so easily? Indeed. These are images of Sean and Mickey Flynn taken four days before coming into Mr. Green's electrical goods store, which was robbed earlier today. Doesn't make any sense. And why are the Flynn brothers interested in some small-time electrical store in Sun Hill? Well, there was one unusual item that went missing. Mr. Green had a framed photograph of the 1966 England squad signed by all of the players. Only about 50 million suspects there, then. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I was just on my way. Honourable persons unit. There's been a complaint. What? Well, not so much a complaint as an observation. According to our local anti-domestic violence charity, we're not giving enough post-incident care. Not enough post-incident care? That's the perception. Right. There was no point in incorporating the community safety unit into VPU if nothing's going to change. Well, nothing is going to change unless... Sir, we are so short-staffed. I'm aware of that. But you're as aware as I am how tight the budget for VPU is. Have a word with CID. I'm sure they've got a few bodies to spare. I already have. And? And they apparently don't have anybody free to help us out. Leave it with me. Now, according to Crimin, there was a disturbance this morning at O'Carolan's Bar in Renfrew Avenue. Sean Flynn was the main witness. Who attended? He sees Murphy and Powell. What happened? Nothing. It was all quiet when they got there. All right. Susie, Jim, go back to see Mr. Green. See if he recognises these two. Also, check the CCTV footage from the second shop. If they went to the first shop, they may have been to the second shop. Let's go. Terry, find out who Flynn's associates are. Also, check other local electrical stores, see if they've been done over. Okay. Hey, Gov, you need me to help you? Don't you think you've had enough excitement for one week, Phil? But, um, if we need you. Thanks. Are you okay? You know, the DCI was right. There's nothing more you could have done. Rob had already made his mind up. Yeah, well, I think we both know that's not true. If only I'd... Come on, Phil. Let the woman at the prison. Please. Not now. Yeah? Sir? How's everyone coping? Well, good, I think. Everyone's getting on with it best they can. Is there something I don't know? Ramani can't run VPU on her own. No, of course she can't. But all she's got to do is tap the CID. Everybody knows that VPU's got top priority. Not everyone. Well, I've made it very clear that... I'll speak to him. Again. Look again, Mr. Green. I don't need to look again. They were caught on CCTV in your first shop in the last couple of weeks. Are you absolutely sure you haven't seen them in either of your shops? So many faces, so many people. Are you thinking of buying? I couldn't afford the box it's in, let alone anything else. Are you sure? Quite sure. But two of your assistants recognise them from this shop. Very good. Unfortunately, my eyes aren't what they used to be. I'm sure we could agree on a discount. No, thanks. My days of buying luxury goods are well and truly over. Pity that's a quality item you've picked there. Yeah, but picking them's never been a problem. Paying for them, that's a tricky bit. Let's go, Jim. How much do you think this England photo is worth? It's priceless. 
Every customer who came into the shop would have a conversation about it. And the longer they spoke about the photo, the more time I had to sell them something. DC Carvel? Yeah, um, thanks, Mr. Green. Look, if there's anything else, we'll be in touch. What do you think? I think he recognised him, but he didn't say. <laughs> He's lying. What makes you so sure? Attention to detail. His whole business is based on him noticing people. Why is he lying? Well, he's either been frightened off or he's in on it. And he didn't look very frightened to me. You ever heard of Mary Celeste? The ghost ship. Only now it's called the Sunhill VPU. Go. Not a soul on board. There's a robbery on the go. We need everyone on that. Just as long as you're all right, then. I'll see who I can spare. I shouldn't have to keep telling you. Self-serving never looks pretty on a CV. Yeah. Yeah, I, I understand. Could, could you hang on for one second, please? Just, just hold on for me. Hello, Sunhill VPU. Um, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to call you back. Could you give me your number? Yep, I've got it here. Mm-hmm. I, I, I shall call you back. OK. Hello, thanks for holding. Hello? Hello? Idiot! A very good morning to you. Yeah, I'm not exactly overjoyed either. Five minutes ago, I was working on a nice, juicy robbery. You've been sent here? I sure have. Listen, Terry, you've been very clear about the fact that you find VPU work uncomfortable. Are you sure you want to do this? Oh, I guess I'll have to be. Well, I can have a word, see if somebody else is free. No, that's fine. It's only temporary. Did the DI tell you what this case was about? Nope. The mother thinks the son's a paedophile. The brother doesn't. He might even be part of it, I don't know. I see. But I could easily find you something else to do. No, that's fine. Are you sure? Yes. Unless every time the word paedophile comes up, you're going to remind me of my brother. Well, I'll fill you in on the way out, OK? Thank you. He's 19. He's just started college, and the brother says that the girl is an absolute spitting image of their dead sister. And the pictures? Well, they're innocent enough, if there weren't quite so many. 800, nearly. Well, did David take them? Yeah, well, maybe he's a keen photographer. Terry. Sorry. What number is it? Ten. Here we are. Mr. Brunton? Yes. Dears to Costa, DC Perkins, Sunhill. Do you mind if we come in? Yeah. What's this about? Alison. Alison. Yes. Nothing's happened to her, is it? That's what we're hoping to find out. Look, Alison's a great kid. She used to follow me around, that's all. When did you last see her? I can't remember. What was it, last week, last month? Her family moved away. No, that wasn't the question I asked. I think I've seen her once in the last month. So you keep in touch? Well, she rings occasionally. Do you ever ring her? I return her call sometimes, yes. Do you think that she has a crush on you? I don't know. Have you ever encouraged her? No. David, what about all those pictures? Oh. So it's not her parents who talk to you? It's my mum, isn't it? Well, don't you think your friendship with a ten-year-old girl can be seen as, as inappropriate? Oh, yeah, certainly could. That's why I don't exactly shout about it in case people get the wrong idea. Well, what's the right idea? I was very close to my sister. When she died, it was... Alison reminded me of her, that's all. But 800 pictures. Do you know how many I have of my sister? <laughs> Two. 
How old were you when your sister died, David? Nine. You makes her what? A year older than you? Did she look out for you, did she? Look. I know the feeling. Warm. Safe from the world. Must have been a terrible loss. Do you feel like that when you're with Alison? All those memories come flooding back, do they? What exactly have I been accused of? David, we're just trying to understand. That's all. No, you're not. What do you think? Well, I think. I think at best, naive, immature. At worst? I want to see the photos on his computer. Look at that. Bill. Thanks to me. Think we've been rumbled? No. Sean Finn around? Yes. Thanks. And the whole party's here. John McBride, put out three years ago. Joe Fallon, two years ago. Stephen Chalmers, 18 months ago. And they were all involved in robberies with the Flynn brothers, yeah? They all went down together. How are you doing? I'm Sean Flynn. Nice to meet you, officers. Interesting clientele you've got here, Mr. Flynn. You think so? Hmm. An electrical goods store was robbed this morning. Dearly me, what's the world coming to? I suppose you've got an alibi. Yeah, I was here bottling up all morning. What would you say if we told you we've got you on CCTV in that very same electrical store? Lots of crime to buy a toaster now, is it? What were you doing there? Look, I'm a busy man. You want to ask questions? Book a time. Do it nicely. I might even come down the station. Drinks around the house. We spoke to David, and we think you were right to feel concerned. Can my colleague take a look at David's pictures on the computer? No. I don't have them anymore. What? The computer. It's not here. No, oh, where is it? I don't believe David would ever harm that child. Mrs. Brunton. Thank you very much for your help. I'd appreciate it if you'd leave now. We've all been through a lot. Mrs. Brunton, where is that computer? Just had to end, that's all. Now it has. There were at least six convicted armed robbers drinking in that pub. They weren't trying to hide anything. They were being completely open. So what were they doing there? Could be anything, Gov. Well, I'm going to put a surveillance team on them. I want you two in the arrest car. Gov. They're going to make a move sooner or later, and we will be there when they do. Six known armed robbers in a pub. I don't think it's exactly self-serving to take it seriously. Well, it is tricky, isn't it? Thank you. Nice flowers. Yeah. Have you spoken to Alison's family? No. Do you think we should? I don't know. I mean, Alison and her family could be totally unaware. And unless we can prove that this is more than some harmless fancy of David's, then I don't really want to raise that spectre. I mean, do, do you agree? No, I agree about the family. I just don't think it's harmless. Why not? I mean, don't, don't feel like you have to draw any parallels or anything. He's nothing like my brother. Look, the only person that thinks this is harmless is David. He's convinced himself it's natural, it's normal, and there's nothing wrong with it. And that's why he's such a risk, because he doesn't know it. I've spoken to the crime reduction officers, and it seems a large percentage of the electrical stores in Sun Hill are looked after by the same security firm. Who's that? Um, they're Raffles Security Limited. This is Dizzy, that's his desk. Um, Terry found this out, did he, Sam? Uh, yes, Gov. Right, anything else? Um, yes, Raffles Security was formed about 18 months ago and it's owned by a company in Brighton. Well, that's handy. We got an address? Yeah, it's a PO box number. Okay. Okay, well, let's find out who runs it and how long it's been going for. Ambulance 
required immediately at 118 Woodley Heath Road. One male, injury to head and hands. What's his name? Dave. David, can you hear me? Ambulance is on its way. Any idea who did this? It was Thomas. Mum. My other son. Where is he? I don't know. Do you want to check the house? He's not here, he ran off. Leave him. It's okay. Try not to move. Detective Sergeant DeCosta, please, can you call her? No. She knows what's going on. Come on, Susie. Is it? Cuff. The surveillance team want us down to Mr. Green's second shop. Why? What's happening? The Flynn's are on the move, last seen in the blue van turning into Golding's Crescent. Which is just round the corner from the shop. Okay, get down there as fast as you can. I'll follow you. Cuff. Lance, is he all right? Yeah, he's taking a beat in there. It's her fault. Not my brother's. She's the one that caused all this. You don't understand. Okay, we'll, we'll deal with this. Mrs. Brunton? Mrs. Brunton. Should we go in? Well, let's go in. Let's go in. Still up for that drink tonight, Sheila? Of course. I would miss your stag do for anything. Cool. I did my best. But Katie, once she was gone, none of us. Jeff, my husband, Thomas, David, none of us could cope. David came round here. He was very upset. Wanted the computer back, accusing me of... What else was I supposed to think? Where is the computer? Thomas. He's got it. Is that what a fight was about? I don't know. Mrs. Brunton. I think so. It was awful, they're brothers. And David wouldn't even fight, and Thomas was hitting and hitting. Where's Thomas now? I don't know. Terry. I just had a report that Thomas Brunton is at the halls of residence. He's smashing up his brother's room. Do you want to go down there? That's all right. We'll deal with it. Thanks, mate. David, do you think he'll forgive me? Of course he will. We need to go. Oh, Lance, would you... It looks like they're inside the shop, but the van's showing out. Yes, Scott. Well, he's on his way down. He says if Flynn comes out, nick him. DI's really got to be in his bonnet about this one. Has he said anything? No. Thomas! Thomas, it's Diaz de Costa! Thomas! Thomas, it's DC Perkins. We just want to know you're all right. Try the door. Well, he hasn't said anything. No? Thomas? You all right, mate? <laughs> Stay where you are. It's okay. It's okay. Stay calm. My brother? Don't worry about it. He'll be fine. He's not fine. <laughs> Never be fine. <laughs> Some people say their sister was the best in the world. Mine. She was. <laughs> she really was. It's all right, Thomas. <laughs> it's not going to be all right. It's never going to be all right. <laughs> She's never coming back. <laughs> Should have been me. I was supposed to go. Just to the shops, but Katie, 
Katie said she'd go. <laughs> when I heard the noise. Uh... Well, we just need to wait. They're not going anywhere. Come on, let's go. Police! Stop what you're doing. Nobody move. What else going on? Alarm's working fine now, Mr. Green. I'm awfully sorry, officer. These gentlemen were just helping me out with my security system. And they managed to recover some of the items stolen from my other shop. Unfortunately, my England photograph seems like it's... Uh, Gone forever. At your service. May I? It was Katie's. <laughs> he swore. He swore he hadn't touched any of our stuff. No one was allowed. Everything in Katie's room was left exactly as it was when. When I came in here, I saw we'd taken a bear. Why would he bring a bear here? Did he want to give it to Alison? Did you find anything else? What happens now? I don't know. So whose nightdress is this? Is it Katie's or Alison's? You're not listed as a director of Raffles Security Firm? No, I'm an advisor. Who owns the company? Consortium of Businessmen. I figured if I use my name, it might cause a few problems. You figured? Look, I've spent a lot of time in prison. I don't plan to go back. It's all legit. What's to stop you from moving into protection, then? Nothing. Except the inside of my cell at Longmarsh. Where did you get the stolen goods? Amazingly, they were dropped off at the back of the pub. You know you've got nothing on me. I volunteered to come here and answer a few questions. What more do you want? Well, we'll be keeping a close eye on local security firms. Especially yours. This is broken. Did you find him? Thomas, is he okay? Yeah, he's okay. We need to have a word. I'm waiting to see David. It is about David. Why didn't you inform DC Sim and DC Carver about Flynn and his security firm? Not that I don't trust your officers, but it was felt that the less people who knew about it, the better. Are you aware it could be construed as deliberate obstruction of police officers during an investigation? Sorry, Sergeant. Detective Inspector. If I was trying to obstruct your investigation, I wouldn't be answering questions now, would I? You could have given us the appropriate information from the off, Mr. Green. This isn't the first time I've been robbed. But it's the first time I got some of my goods back, Detective Inspector. If your officers had managed to find out who robbed my shop, I would have been just as delighted with them. I can assure you. Is there anything else? Where did you get it? David's room, his hall of residence. Is it Katie's? He wouldn't listen to me. I thought if the police went round, scared him. You know those, those pictures of Alison on the computer? Did you see them all? Well, do you... Did you recognise this? A little girl's nightdress? It's Katie's. What? Are you sure? I should be. I bought it. Mrs. Brunton, I lost my daughter. And then my husband. He'd asked Katie to go to the shops. He was, no, he was never the same. He drank till... Please, don't make me lose my son. Did Alison visit you in college? No. Stay over? No. 
How did this get in the room? You wouldn't understand. Did you sleep with her? I'm not even going to bother to answer that question. It's a lot kinder to ask you that than to have to ask her. You don't give up, do you? Katie died, and a small part of Alison reminded me of her. And that's the beginning, middle and end of it. I know you desperately want to believe that. But it's not true, is it? Inside, deep inside, you know. It's one thing to remember your sister. Snuggle up with her. Keep the big bad world at bay. Warmth of her skin. Smell of her hair. It's another thing to try and replace her. Sean Flynn had previous for burglary. Everything pointed to him and his brother. How are we supposed to know that they were acting as security consultants for Mr. Green? Because Green should have told us. At least he won't be getting his beloved photograph back. Ah. They might have recovered some of his electrical goods, but that photograph will be long gone by now. Yeah, I'm sure. Funny how the Flynns found the stolen stuff, eh? Yeah, but their connections, it wouldn't be difficult for them to find out who did the burglary. Either that or they did it themselves to prove to Mr. Green what an efficient security firm they run. Well, you'll be pleased to know the D.I. wants the case closed since there's no more evidence. <sighs> Thank goodness for that, eh? Are you going to Lance's stag do? No, I think I need an early night. Oh, that's a shame. I wanted to buy you a drink. What way of an apology? I'm sorry. I really didn't mean to hurt you. Maybe we both made mistakes. Maybe I was wrong wanting you to change. No, it's not much to ask, really, is it? A little bit of commitment. It's a lot to ask from someone who isn't ready to give it. You're not, though, are you? You're really honest with yourself. And there's nothing wrong with that, Phil. I should have been a bit more realistic about things. Maybe we can be a bit more honest with ourselves in the future. Maybe. I'm gonna call it a day. You have a nice time at Lance's. There it was a washout. Yeah. So a VPU got a good result. Yeah. This as well then. You right, Phil? Curve. Sure. I'd go home. Curve. Sure. Ready for round two, guys? Oh, cheers. You know, cheers. during the First World War, in the trenches, they used to give the soldiers a drink the night before they went over the top. <laughs> Getting married, Reg, I'm not joining the army. <laughs> anyway, cheers, Lance. Here's to you. All the best for tomorrow. Yeah, cheers. Good luck. No turning back now. Sadly, I still don't think David thinks he did anything wrong. Well, wittingly or unwittingly, he was grooming her. Well, let's hope we can make it stick. Yep. I reckon we were there just in time. You look shattered. Mm. Thanks. What? I need to find him, don't I? My brother. Bradley and Christopher. He could be doing anything to them. I'm just sat here waiting. We don't know for sure that he's abusing them. No. But I need to find out. And if he is, I need to stop him. Right, I say it's part time. Who's up for a cocktail then? Well, I wouldn't say no to an army. Shouldn't you be looking after Marilyn? <laughs> Yvonne, something a little stronger? No, I'm, I'm going out. See you later. See you later. Take it. Laters, isn't it? Lance, what about you? Last night of freedom and all that? I'll have a beer. Cocktail's a bit too lethal for my liking. Oh, you coward. <laughs> Come on, Rest. Let's go see what they can whip up for us. Oh. Listen, I'm 
going to go to. Leave you hardened drinkers to it. Here you go. Now, don't worry about waking me up. You enjoy yourself. Just make sure you're not hung over tomorrow. Sheila, thanks for what you said earlier. You're right. Tomorrow's about me and Mark. He cares what people think or say. Exactly. See you. What is that called? That's lovely. It's a naughty rascal, Reg. <laughs> oh, is it? Marilyn calls me that sometimes. You are, Reg. Oh. Yeah, I'm okay. I can't feel my feet. Is that normal with one of these? I'm just nipping out to make a phone call. Back in two texts. Yeah, mm. see you later. Mm -mm. Mm. On the bill. Been missing out for 13 hours. And I don't have to tell anybody here that a lot of things can happen during that time. Gene, I really hope my brother's not doing this. But I need to find out the 